So if you're thinking about going to a Cincinnati Bengals game in 2024, you're in luck. The Bengals are traveling the second fewest miles of any team during the 2024 season. Again, we'll get a content release schedule uh, later tonight. Not content, but a regular NFL schedule released later tonight. But with that being said, we currently sit at the second of 10,611 miles uh, total travel over 2024 season, which is an absolute W, let's be honest. Um, I have no problem with traveling around the country when it comes to these games, but sometimes it can be a mess. Sometimes it it's just good being at home, okay? Being at home or being close to home, I feel like we play better. We just have more fans at the games. It's less jet lag. It's less just all types of problems. So this is a huge W here. We go through 12 time zones, which is tied for the third um, least amount of time zones. The least is 8, and then you got 10, which is Pittsburgh. And then you got a couple teams with 12, which obviously is us. And 36 for the Chargers. Now, they are on the West Coast, and there's not as many teams on the West Coast as there are like Midwest or East Coast. But still, that's kind of crazy. 36 uh, time zones. And also traveling 26.8 uh, thousand miles. Yeah, good luck, Chargers fans. You guys are about to find yourself with a new team because you're about to go out there and get, you know, a million different fan bases to take a look at you. We're sitting here in kind of the ballpark of Cincinnati here where we're not going far at all. And, I mean, if you look at our schedules, right, I mean, at our uh, opponents, let me go ahead and pull that up real fast. You, I mean, you already could tell that it wasn't really that crazy, Miles. It's just now seeing it in writing is even crazier. So, obviously, these are all home opponents. You don't travel for those. Baltimore, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, all relatively close to us. Baltimore is around six hours away. Cleveland's right up the street. Okay. It's an hour away. Okay. Pittsburgh is around two and a half hours away. Dallas is the longest. No, no. LA is the longest distance we're going from Ohio. Dallas is somewhat in that ballpark range. But even Tennessee, Carolina, because we're not, we have zero international games this year, Carolina is not that crazy because this could have been Germany, but it's not. The Giants as well, you know, I mean, right below Pittsburgh, not too crazy. Kansas City, Still a good distance, but not insane. So I like this. I think this is a huge W for us. Again, everything is marking out for this to be a Super Bowl season. Sixth easiest schedule. The AFC North in general has the hardest schedule in the NFL outside of us. Everything is going correct. Joe is back. He's feeling good. He's throwing the ball good. He's looking good. Like, I'm not trying to jinx us. Not going wood here. But this is going to be a magical year, guys. I am so freaking excited for this upcoming season. And now hearing this news, it's just like everything we're hearing right now makes me more and more excited for the season and want the damn season here. Like, bro, I want the season here now. Because <clears throat> there's so many positive things going on right now. And I'm just like, let's get past this like training camp, preseason, and this kind of time period right now. Because this is when injuries happen. This is when problems happen. Setbacks happen. Let's just get past all this. Let's like let's fast forward to this upcoming season so we can actually uh you know skip all the problems and just have the fun times, which is you know our season going. We play Kansas City Chiefs early. We're gonna start off with the Commanders, which kinda is a trap. I don't see. I, I don't want to say it's a trap game, the Commanders game, because it's so early in the season that I don't really think you could call that a trap game yet, just because of how early it is in the year. Right, so like you don't know how good they're going to be. At the end of the day, you can say Bay well based on last year, but they also got a lot better. They got Austin Eckler. They also got a quarterback. Right. They also signed some other guys in free agency. A lot of veteran players, which now because they have a franchise or well, potentially franchise quarterback in Jane Daniels, doesn't look that crazy, you know. So again, like I said, we'll have to wait and see how this ends up turning out, but. So far, everything I've seen today is pretty damn good. We have our primetime game is versus the New York Giants, which, again, they could be a better team. I don't think they will be, but they could be a better team, so we got to take that with consideration. Should be easy, though. And again, should is the 
million dollar word at this point. I'll see you guys in the next one.